Hi everyone, welcome to my sewing corner. In this video, I'm joined by all of these lions. I'm gonna be showing you how to sew a lion stuffed animal. The pattern for the stuffed animal is one that I wrote and I wanted to show you some of the variations before we get into the tutorial. But if you wanna skip right to the tutorial, then go to this timestamp and you'll be able to jump right into it. So as you can see, all of these lions have the same face. And when I was designing the face, I wanted something that could go for either a girl lion or a boy lion and be really cute and neutral. And the main options, this one's an upholstery trim. This one is just a ruffled piece of fabric. This one is a lace trim and this is just some yarn that I crocheted into loops. So the varieties are endless and this is an excellent scrap buster because it doesn't require very much fabric especially if you mix up different pieces of the lion so let me show you how you can do that for this lion he's wearing two of the five accessories that i include in the pattern and this is the vest with little lapels and a little embroidered button that's covering up a snap and little pants which i sewed into jeans so in this option, I had the body of the lion be kind of like the button-up shirt. So I extended the fabric down to where the cuff would be and then I switched back to, you know, the fur color on the hands. And his leg is also his fur color and then he's wearing light colored shoe with little crosses for laces. And then this lion has the same pants, you know, most of the same details, but he's wearing the sweater that you can knit in the pattern and you can do it with sleeves or without sleeves. It just depends on what kind of sweater you want to do. So he's in the vest and this is a very well-loved lion with an accessory that my daughter added. It's just a little rope, but I wanted to show you what a loved one looks like. Um, this one has the sock option, sock or shoe, depending on what you want to call it, but I put a little lace fringe around the ankle to kind of match this and look like a vintage sock. So she's wearing the shirt and the skirt. And then this line is the one that I will be showing in the tutorial. And this has the wrap shirt with the skirt and all the same details like the little sock. I did a gold fabric so it shines a little bit in this one. And then it's not in the pattern but I just added a little bow to her hair. I just sewed a little strip, tied it in a bow and attached it with a string. So that's all the variety that you can do. The pattern is 26 pages and there's instructions and also pattern pieces within that 26 page document. So you don't necessarily have to print all 26 pages. You can print all of the pages for the pattern that you're gonna cut out and then you can just digitally refer to the instructions if you want. So within this pattern, you're going to have a full list of all the tools required and all the materials, the guide to the embroidery for the face, then you'll have the embroidery design, which you can use as a template to mark the face, or you can even print it on printer paper and just iron it on if you don't want to do the embroidery. And then you'll have the instructions for sewing this with pictures included, the make any sweater pattern, which is just either a vest or a long sleeve, depending on how you knit the sweater, but there's full knitting instructions for that little sweater. And then there's all the instructions for the accessories, which is the sweater, the shirt, skirt, vest, and pants. And then pages 19 through 26 are pattern pieces. And they'll just, you'll cut them out like this and it has all of your seam allowances and markings and what pieces they are. Down below this video in the description, you'll be able to find a link to this pattern. It is completely digital, so you can buy it, download it, print it, all within 10 minutes and you're ready to go. So now let's get right in the, into the tutorial. And in this tutorial, I wanted to show you a little bit of the details of how this is constructed. And some of the things are kind of gone through quickly because all of the details are within the pattern, but I just wanted to show it 
kind of like live action so you can see what it looks like to make some of the things in there. All right, so let's get started. Start by printing out your pattern pieces and instructions and getting everything ready to begin making your lion. You're gonna need fabric. This is a great scrap buster. Just a little bit of embroidery floss and some trim. This trim I crocheted, but you can also use a pre-made trim. And I have all my pattern pieces right here and I've went out, went ahead and cut all of my pieces. I'm gonna take an uncut piece of fabric and my embroidery design and I'm going to put the fabric over the face and draw it out with a water soluble ink. So once you have that completely done, I'm gonna back my fabric with another plain piece of cotton just to make it a little bit sturdier and that way the stitches on the back don't show through one single layer of fabric. And the stitches that you'll need for this embroidery are a stem stitch along these lines and you'll use a little bit of satin stitch and then a few French knots for the whiskers. So you'll just keep stitching and then you'll align the embroidery that way everything is straight and then you'll cut out the face. Then I'm marking the marks for the ears and I'll begin constructing the arms and the legs. So it depends on if you're going to put two fabrics or not. I put one for the arms and two for the legs to make it look like there was socks. And then you'll just stitch those pieces together for the ears, the arms, and the legs and cut all of the notches. And here I'm going to push everything to the right side and I'm going to stop about halfway and this helps for the stuffing process. Once I get it halfway turned I'm going to begin inserting the fluff into the arm or the leg and I'm going to be stuffing it firmly. You just put a tiny bit of fluff in the ears to give them a little bit of a pop and get the arms and the legs stuffed completely. Then you can set those aside. And now you're going to be putting the trim around the face. So it's gonna be facing out, but in order to connect everything, you're going to want to turn it toward the inside. And you'll just pin and baste that around and you'll also sandwich the ears into place between the trim and the face just like this. So baste everything into place for these layers. Then you can get the front and the back of the head and the body and you're going to connect them along the neck seam. So to stitch straight across and that way the body is connected to the head and you can place all of your markings for where the arms and the legs will go and then you can connect the arms either by pinning or by basting everything into place and you're going to be facing all of the limbs inward. Once you have those, you can then sandwich them inside of the lion. So all the right sides are gonna be facing inward and then you'll just pin all the way around, making sure to tuck the legs and the arms in and all of the mane as well. Once you have everything pinned, you'll only have a small opening down at the bottom 
and you're going to stitch from one side all the way around the head to the other side, leaving just the bottom open. Now it's all stitched. And I'm going to clip the curves around the neck. You're going to want to clip them pretty close to the stitching or else it will bunch up around the neck. So just be thorough with your clipping and then you can begin to turn the lion the right side out. And the bulkier your trim is, the more difficult it will be, but just pull little bits at a time and it will come out. And your lines put together and all that's needed now is stuffing. Now you're going to stuff the stuffing up into the head and you're going to want to stuff the body and the head very firmly. As time goes on, the stuffing tends to come together a bit and it can lose some of its puffiness, so I always stuff it firmly. Then I'm just going to use a ladder stitch along that bottom seam and I'm going to hand stitch it closed. Then you can begin the accessories. All the instructions are in the pattern, but I'm just gonna briefly show you the construction. So this is the shirt and it's very similar to the vest. You'll sew the shoulder seams and you'll connect the two pieces and stitch around, leaving a small opening in the bottom, clipping all the curves before you turn it. Then you can turn it right sides out and you'll turn the whole thing through that bottom opening. Pop out all the corners and give it a good press. Stitch that opening closed and then on the side seams underneath the arm opening you'll stitch that closed. Put in a snap and it's done. And you can just slip it on to your little lion. So cute. All that's left is the accessory for the bottoms. And for this one, I'm going to be making the skirt. And I just sewed a French seam and turned the hem and the casing for the elastic. Then I'm going to take the elastic and just wrap it around the lion to get the size and loop it on through the casing. Then I'll stitch the ends together and just pop it right back in the skirt so that little opening closed and the skirt is finished. And here are the girl accessories for the lion. And then I just made a quick little bow and attached a piece of yarn to it and I can tie that onto one of the pieces of the trim. That's just an optional thing. It's not included in the pattern, but it's very simple to do. All right, so there is your completed lion. Oh, so cute. And if you make this pattern, I'd love to see your work too. You can share with me over on Instagram at pagehandmade. I love seeing your work as well. 
If you like this video, you can give me a thumbs up down below or even leave a comment in the comment section what you thought of the video. And if you haven't subscribed and you want to, then you can just click that and the little bell alert next to it and that way you'll get a notification anytime that I post a video. Until next time, go get creative and make a little lion that you love.